Hello, I'm Susan Bushell from FreeYourEmotions.com. I'm an energy therapist and I teach, train and mentor EFD students and practitioners and I do one-on-one -on -one sessions both in person and online. Today I wanted to just speak for a moment about when you are tapping on an issue in your life and suddenly things start to get sluggish, stuck, the suds are just not moving. The, the sense of working on this issue is, is like you're sort of walking in mud or that you're walking on a treadmill, working hard, getting nowhere. <laughs> so I want to just address it from one angle, the angle of the downside of getting what you want. Now this can come up with anything. It can come up with a limiting belief. It can come up with a, a feeling in your body, a situation in your life, in your relationships, in your career. And sometimes we just have to pause, take a moment away from tapping and reflect quietly. A big part of that is about acknowledging first that you're stuck, that there's something in the way, there's a roadblock of some sort, and it's causing the energy in your body to lock up. It's far more scary or worrying to let go of the rest of the issue, the remaining aspects, than it is to actually achieve what you've set your heart on. So the first step is to just acknowledge that you're stuck there and maybe even do a little bit on tapping, a little bit of tapping on, I'm stuck, I'm just stuck. I don't know what's going on, I can't see it, I can't feel it, but the suds are not moving and I'm getting nowhere fast. So doing a few rounds on that can be super helpful and can allow your body to calm enough, your nervous system to calm enough that then you begin to become more consciously aware of what's behind the stuckness, <laughs> creating the complexity in the tapping. Um, and then acknowledging it. So just simply going, oh, okay, I'm getting a little whiff of this. It's starting to, to sort of materialize uh, in my conscious awareness and just allowing yourself to, to own that and to, to love yourself despite it. Um, if you have a tendency to beat up on yourself around those kinds of things, tap on beating up on, on yourself because that's, uh, that's going to really get you nowhere. Um, so just tapping on that, loving yourself despite the fact that you might be doing that and then allowing each of those pieces of Ah, what would be bad about, what would be challenging about, what would be hard or um, you know, what would cost me money, what would get in the way, what might change my relationships, what about this would be hard and then put that into your next setup. So let me give you a couple of examples. The downside of, for example, losing the weight that you want to lose could be that you're going to have to spend some money on a new wardrobe or alterations to your clothes. The downside of giving up sugar could be the fact that, wow, sugar's been a big part of my summers. I love going to the ice cream parlor. I love going to the beach and, and having a, a picnic with some sugar. Um, uh, the downside of a career move, a successful career move, a promotion, or starting your own business could be that now I'm going to be more visible. There's going to be more expected of me. If I fall or fail, it's going to be seen and it's going to be a harder fall. So if these kinds of um, aspects are emerging, um, uh, are coming to consciousness, then write them down, even if you can't tap on them right away write them down and put them into a setup and work through them one at a time. And the trick, of course, the trick is to be thorough with your work. So not just tapping on it for a few rounds, but tapping on it and remeasuring your suds and tr until it's zero. And then trying to feel that feeling again, trying to feel that block, literally trying to stir it up in your body again to test if there's any left. And if there is, if you are able to do that, then tap that down. Then you may want to actually talk about it or talk with a friend about it and see if the feeling emerges again, the stuckness, the block, the scariness, the worry, the fear, and tap it down and just keep doing that until there is no, there's just nothing left. <laughs> so be persistent, be gentle with yourself and tap down any need to beat up on yourself for not getting it right. And 
that's, that's my suggestion for working on the downside of getting what you want. <laughs> this is Susan Bushell from FreeYourEmotions.com. I'd love you to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I'm posting new videos. And bye for now.